Hey guys, hopefully everyone had a very nice uh, 4th of July weekend. It was pretty awesome just because I finally had a day off on the holiday, which I've never had before. For like 4th of July, I always worked the whole week and then just off Saturday or whatever. But I had a day off on Friday, but still a little tired because it goes by so fast because even on my day off, I still had stuff to do and errands and stuff. And look, it's Sunday already and back to work and money again. Um... So, thank you for all the comments on my last video, which was amazing. No negative stuff, which I really, really appreciate. Um, so, uh, I wanted to talk about all my symptoms and experience so far. So, I think I'm four months now, four and a half months. I'm lost. I can't keep up. Doctor tells me one thing. My app says one thing. I'm like, whatever. All I know is baby is due November 16, which might change again because before it was November 6, and I've been told it can change something new to learn about being brago so the first two months um <clears throat> i was super exhausted tired all i wanted to do is sleep i will sleep for hours and hours <clears throat> and i was still working both jobs and um hey jules stop messaging me so i was really tired i slept forever and for hours and hours and no matter how much sleep I get I would never have or gained energy just exhausted it's tired and lethargic and I had so much headaches and dizziness and was very nauseated but I only vomited once when I was really exhausted at my second job Burlington and after work I just opened my car door in the middle of a stoplight and and that was the only time besides that I was just like nauseated but no vomiting whatsoever and it's just miserable because I wake up early to work it's not feeling right and oh the memories I'm so glad it's over and after the first two months I was back to normal I was hyper again everyone told me when your second trimester kicks in you'll be fine you'll be hyper You'll be energetic and lively again, which is true, and I was, and I've been okay since then. But then, the last, I guess, one and a half months, almost two months now, my right hand would go super numb, tingling sensation, and it's painful, and I literally would scream and wake up in the morning. Kind of a feeling when you have, um, oh, I can't think of the name right now, when your leg goes numb. Oh, I, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so, I was Googling. It's, it's a common thing that you get a carpal tunnel during pregnancy because you're retaining water and the baby's taking fluid, a lot of fluid from you. And um, the only thing is, you know, to wear a brace at nighttime or if a doctor recommends, like, a um, hot and cold cream, um, if it works kind of worse and it doesn't go away, you gotta go see an ortho and get some um, cortisol injections, what I don't plan on doing. And um, the past two weeks or so, it's kind of faded. When it first started, oh my God, wake up in the morning, it hurts. During my sleep, it hurts. If I happen to wake up in the middle of the night, I literally would do this and that doesn't help. Like I'm literally like screaming. And it's only on the right side. And of course, when I Google it, say it's worse when you sit on your desk and use your arms a lot, like on a computer, typing, blah, blah, blah. Just basically lo lots of hands on. And I do that at both jobs, which I can't avoid. And I think that's a lot of things that people do anyway. So it wears out during the day. And it finally went away the last two weeks or so, but now it's coming back in the last two days. I'm feeling again as we speak. It's like numb. And I know I'm a texture all day or person. That could be why too, but oh, it's, it's it's annoying as fuck. I try to ignore it, but it's just almost unbearable. Um, so yeah, where I'm sitting right now, that's a space for my baby. Um, I had like a big, nice cloth rack behind me here because I have such a limited space. Like my closet is a tiny ass closet. It's an old school house, so... I, I miss having a walk-in closet and stuff, and I'm living at home at the moment, so I had to um, organize a lot of things. I finally 
took my sweet time and lingo of clothes that I don't wear anymore. I sold stuff at places, got a few bucks. It's something. I still have one half of stuff in my laundry basket in the car that um, I have left to try to sell somewhere else. Um, I went to a place called Players Closet. I'm not sure it's all over the states, but Players Closet and something called Clothes Mentor, which is not a lot. It's like I bought so much with my own money and selling it was like, what the fuck? So, Jules, stop texting me. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, um, I've been feeling okay. And go figure, um, what I found out the sex of the baby like two weeks ago. And go figure the day after, that's when I start feeling flutters. And everybody's been asking me if I had it, if I've experienced it yet. And I'm like, no, not yet. I think the couple days before the appointment, I did felt it, but I wasn't sure. I thought maybe I was like growling or gas bubbles or something. But I realized that must be what it was. But the next day after I found out, it I felt more and more and more. And so now the last few weeks, it started to um, get stronger and stronger. Um, I, well, the baby's on the right side right now. I don't know if that's common, I don't know anything, but that's what my doctor told me where the baby was exactly. And I feel it on my right side, and sometimes it'll be like in the middle of my belly, like lower, closer to my pelvic. It gets annoying after a while, and it literally does feel like butterflies in your stomach are like bubbles. And it feels stronger and stronger the more it happens. I've noticed when I drink cold water, she gets a little hyper. When I'm like super like um, stressing, I'm going through something in the moment. Like last week, my tires popping. I was middle of the freeway. She, she knew something was not right with mama. So she went kind of cray cray for like a four or five minutes. And um, my mother's voice is really loud, even when she's talking normally. It's like she's literally yelling and bitching at you, kind of. So she went crazy. Every time I sit next to her, and she start, my mom started talking, she goes nuts. I walk away, she calms down. So it's kind of funny. And then I was at the movies with Baby Dad the other day. Um, Friday, we watched um, The Terminator. And you know, it's a lot of gunshots, fighting, loud noises. She went a little nuts, too, for a while. So, yeah. Um, she's alive. She's doing something in there. She's active, so I'm kind of excited. I just don't like this numb feeling. So, um, I think in the next video or whatever, I'll show you stuff that I've been wearing that makes me comfortable. Because I, I don't plan on buying, like, maternity jeans or lots of tops or anything. I mean, it's getting close. Like, what, I have four months left? It's not a big deal. I mean, I know a lot of people do, but it's like, I already go out, go out, so... It's like a waste of money to me. But I did buy some attorney shorts a couple months ago at the beginning because it was starting to get hot and stuff. Um, I think it was by the brand Oh Mama at Burlington, much cheaper. Um, extra large, just cute denim shorts, different styles, got lace and whatever in the bottom, pockets, and had the, the tummy thing where you pull up to cover your belly a bit. And I got bigger shirts that looks cute and some of my tops go figure it looks like a maternity top so even better and um i've been wearing lots of dresses comfy ones because girl spandex and dresses are your best friend not a fan of pants and jeans and my scrubs right now at work you just see my belly more now it's getting tight um i haven't started buying any yet just because i want to wait until my belly really really pops out and then i'll buy a few so no big deal and um yeah, I've been just wearing skirts, dresses to Burlington, and lots of flats. Finally bought some new shoes to wear to work because it's starting to bug me the one I was wearing before, which I wasn't supposed to be wearing anyway. It was like um, kind of like a sneaker slash flat from Coach I got um, years ago. And um, it's not supporting my feet, so I finally, you know, have money to get some shoes. I was holding on shoes because I didn't care for it, but now it's like, I need to get myself um, tennis shoes, tennis shoes that I like to wear. Because initially when I first started the job, I just randomly bought this Dr. Show shoes at Walmart, which was horrible. Fits me well. It's supposed to support your arch and feet, but 
it just felt uncomfortable for a while and I gave up and that's when I started wearing coach flats which was comfortable but then I'm like wearing it every single day for like what six months now on my job so and I got the shoes on sale which I'm always a size 8 in all my tennis shoes my Nikes I've been wearing Nikes forever in case was and I don't know I haven't worn Skechers in a long long time but Maybe it's the way they made these. It's like the comfort foam one. If you guys ever heard of it, I've never heard of it because I haven't bought shoes in a while. But anyway, I'm freaking size 10. I know my foot's swollen and all, but never in a million years I've ever worn a size 10 shoes. Because I still, I had on my size uh, 8 um, Nikes and it fits me fine. So I'm like, what the hell? But these shoes are comfortable. I was like, Iffy with a 9 10 walking one forever, trying back and forth, back and forth, like, okay, more space, better. And I'm sure my feet will get swollen even more, so, hey. So, yeah, um, I think maybe next week or this weekend, I'll put on some outfits. And they're not necessarily made from maternity, but I just look good in you, so. Yeah, um, I thought I was going to talk about something else, but... I think that's it for now. Just my symptoms. I've been doing okay. The nausea has been gone months and months ago. More hyper now. My hands numb. That's about it. Off and on. Um, I've been. I was eating like out all the time at my workplace because easy access. I'm tired all the time and lazy. But um, past few weeks now I've been bringing my own lunch, saving money, and um, yeah. Oh, one more thing, because I want to talk about that so bad. So everybody and their mama has been asking me about having a baby shower, having a baby registry. It's just very hard for me. I got really annoyed considering my situation, my me, my parents, and just how I was raised. And it's, it's complicated for me to explain everything. But And also the fact that I'm in Ohio, I don't have like real genuine friends. It would be a different story if I was in California. Of course, my friends back home would throw me a baby shower, but here it's like, I don't fucking know people. Like, I, I know people here and there, but it's like, they're not true, true, true friends. So we'll see what happens. It's like, I just don't see anyone throwing me a baby shower, especially not my mom. It's just weird. It might sound really cool, but I don't think she will. It's just something that we don't do, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't know. Um. So... I got irritated because people are like, don't buy it. I went to the baby shower. And I'm like, there's no fucking baby shower. I want to buy things. Finally, I found stuff that I wanted. I want to buy with my fucking own money. I've been saving up. It's my baby, my choice. Let it go. It's like over and over again. So my friend kept bugging the shit out of me. I think she realizes my situation, how I feel. So I gave in and I finally fucking... I know I'm cussing because it, it irritates me. So I finally made a baby registry. However, there are two things that I'm buying for myself. Just because, what if you bought it for me and I don't like it? And I don't want, yes, I can probably return it, but it's like a hassle. But anyway, I picked out the pack and play that I want. And I also picked it a stroller that I want, which I did a lot of research over and over again. Which I have not processed yet, but it's, on, it's ordering at Walmart.com. Most of my registries at Walmart.com. If anybody wants to help out just kidding but anyway it's under my full name r-i-n-d-a last name p-u-n but i don't expect things from anybody i can afford all this stuff by myself it's not a problem that's why i didn't care about baby registry or whatever just because deep down inside personally i've always <sighs> it's hard for me to talk about this i've always been the person until now have always gone all the way for people have done so much for people financially emotionally physically whatever but when shit is down and it comes to me, when I need help or just anything, no one ever is fucking there. And it's like, I thought I met some nice people in life, but I have done so much more for people than anyone has ever done for me, besides my mother. So for me to think like someone actually surprised me with shit, unbelievable. And it's sad to say, maybe people see this video, they might be offended, but it's how I fucking feel. So, I find it at Walmart, most of my stuff at Walmart, and the rest of the stuff, which is very few Babies R Us, only because it didn't have a Walmart, because Babies R Us is fucking expensive, oh, 
who the hell shops there? Well, I'm sure, but hell no. They they have the heirloom um, boppy there. That's why I picked it and added it to my registry. So that that was why. But everything else is at Walmart. And I told people that I would be fine with just wipes and diapers. They'll be amaze balls. But certain things that I put on at Walmart registry is stuff that I really want for my child to have to. So, you know, like a, a walker, a little bassinet, magical thingy, whatever. And yay. Um, I'm not ready to order the two main stuff yet. Um, in the back of my mind, like I know the baby's there. I'm just, I just still have this part of me thinking like, well, if something were to happen, you know, you just never know. So, yeah, um, that's about it. That's my update. Um, I'll try to do another video next week or whatever. And, um, yeah, I might be dressing up this Friday because random stuff, I'm going to go see the chipmunks, the Chippendales, whatever. I know Pretty Woman Chippendales. I don't know, all my friends been the one to the Vegas show, and this was just a spur of the moment thing that's on Facebook, and I booked it. We have general's admission, going with one of my old co-worker, 25 bucks, so, um, my excitement for the year, I guess. So, I'll be in a dress or something here, dude. It's been a while, so that'll be like my pamper night out. So, that's about it. Thank you all. God bless, and rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all your wonderful support and love, and, um, as you guys follow my prego journey. Bye guys. Happy Sunday.